さもこれストレージ今の兄さんぶりになるよこれストレージマラに進化を確認してこれストレージ Isaac is a permanent 5 star light bow unit and is one of the guardians of the sacred tree Yggdrasil. He was made available to summon in the prize showcase, in which all of the new characters introduced their having incredibly powerful and viable kits. Isaac is no exception, with his support kit bringing in variable forms of support in a large area of effect. Let's look further into his kit and see how his support play works. His first skill, Wield Fury, costs 2835 SP. It deals a measly 1100% damage, but its main highlight is his buffs. This skill provides 4 different buffs, represented by 4 different colors. The first part of this skill is a self buff, with all buffs lasting for 10 seconds. Red increases strength by 5%. Yellow provides additional 5% attack rate. Green recovers HP with 10% potency every 3 seconds. Blue gradually fills skill gauges by 2% every second, totaling up to 20% for the entire duration. The second part of this skill is a buff zone with a large area of effect. The buff zone also lasts for 10 seconds. Red provides 10% strength increase. Yellow increases attack rate by 10%. Green recovers HP with 20% potency every 3 seconds. Blue gradually fills skill gauges by 2% every second. Another important feature of this skill is its immunity towards Curse of Nihility, thus making him one of the only light buffing unit at the moment that is incredibly viable in Dominion stages. This alone significantly increases Isaac's value, combined with the variance of buffs he can provide, and his low SP cost, he's a pretty impressive buffer. Overall, this skill is incredible in all shadow end game stages, and provides good buffs in exchange for pitiful skill damage. His second skill, Lightning Hunt, costs 7475 SP, and the only thing it does, is deal a hit of 1500% damage. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Clearly a lot of effort is shifted towards his skill 1, and this skill may be pretty much an afterthought. Overall, it's just a damage dealing skill, with high SP cost, and relatively low damage modifiers. Isaac's co-abilities consist of the typical skill haste and poised resistance that is pretty much present in many units that can create buff zones. The chain co-ability is decent, acting as an additional defensive buff alongside the other buffs. Isaac's list of abilities contains two brand new abilities, which we'll go through first. His unique ability, Guardsman of the Verger, provides a strength amp when skill 1 is used, with a maximum team amp level of 2. Isaac's own shadow resistance is also increased by 5% whenever he is in a buff zone. The strength amp is an excellent addition, as his low SP cost can allow team strength amp to be achieved faster. The increase in shadow resistance allows Isaac to tank slightly more unavoidable damage with another 7% shadow resistance buff from his chain co ability. His second new ability is Poise Strength. It grants Isaac a 20% strength buff when he is in a buff zone. A weaker variant of this ability is available as a chain co ability on Dragon Yule Victor. This ability is quite nice, granting additional boosts to Isaac aside from the ones he received from his skill 1. His resist ability is Poison Resist, which doesn't make him fare well in curse ridden stages. 
This is especially detrimental to Isaac or any support unit, as his skills are disabled when cursed. Isaac is a support unit through and through, with low skill damage modifiers, and low SP cost on his supportive skill. The main focus will definitely be on his supportive play, as I don't find Isaac particularly useful when played as a main DPS unit. The main ability he'll need is skill haste, with striking haste, and united haste being my preferences. Buff time is useful only on his self buff, as buff zones are not affected by buff time. For the other slots, I have a preference for Gauge Accelerator, assisting the team in chipping away at the overdrive bar faster. Other empty slots can be filled with offensive abilities, to boost damage of his standard attacks, or defensive abilities, to keep him alive. Isaac's dragon needs to be supportive, in order to complement his kit perfectly. An alternative would be a dragon, that can provide high strength modifiers, my number one pick is definitely Taishan Gongju, with her skill haste working perfectly on Isaac. Popstar Siren is also a decent choice for a supportive dragon. For offensive options, Reborn Gene is definitely top pick, with the highest raw strength modifiers among light dragons. Any other dragon that can provide decent strength buffs will do, such as Jilgo Mission Cupid. Ajito weapons from the light element are among the strongest in the game, particularly for supportive slash skill dependent units. It's because of the second variant of the weapon skill, which increases skill haste by 10%. So, it goes without saying, that Taflam will be perfect on Isaac. Jupiter Sky is a suitable alternative, and a good weapon, to start going through Tartarus stages, until you have collected enough materials to build the Taflam. For Wimprint selection, these are what I believe, are suitable on Isaac. For my light team, I have two DPS units, with my healer also having above average damage output. This made my Isaac Wimprint selection, to focus intensely on skill haste, with additional supportive and defensive prints. The remaining slots for this section are filled with offensive prints, that help boost his normal attacks. Isaac is definitely worthy of being one of the top supportive units in game, with multiple buffs, relatively large area of effect on his buff zones, and low SP cost. Unfortunately, Isaac suffers greatly from incredibly low skill damage modifiers, and the lack of ability to inflict any form of affliction. The devs obviously want players to use him solely as a supportive unit in mind. Overall, Isaac is a dedicated support unit, that does his job very well. Now go out there, and remember to enable higher visual effects when using Isaac. This will help you to differentiate the type of buff used easily, as in basic settings, the buff zone is green by default. Also, the design of his buff zone is incredibly beautiful, so why miss out on that? That's all from me. Moga out. Thank you.